Hi, this is Maya from Custom Cruises and Walter from Wagner's Classic Oils at the Motorcycle Mechanics Classic Show in the UK. This is one of the greatest shows you can come to. There's all homemade bikes, if you want to call them that, professionally built. As an example, Alan Milliard here with his amazing creations. And uh, we've had a great time. We're advertising the complete range of Wagner's oils and we're going to be distributing them in the UK. So if you want some great tank sealers, great oils, and uh, you can see here, masses of machines, lots of stalls, incredible selection. You've got Simpson helmets on the left. You've got Z Power, all your Kawasaki Z1000 parts. You've got some very rare bikes here, Egley Vincents. You've got Yamahas, Martini Yamaha CX500 turbos. You've got the Yamaha Water Cool Club. Sorry, Air Cool Club. These are all your RDs, not your LCs. These are beautiful bikes like guys like me had when we were younger. Your RD 500s, your RD 200s, your RD 250s. Hagen Jacques, very well known. A very famous drag racer, Alf Hagen. Motorcycle dent removal. Lots of classic bikes, as you can see on the right hand side. These are the Vincent HRD, very rare bikes. And uh, balcony, you've got more stalls up there. So as you can see here, we're going to go down this aisle. This is all your books, all your spares, all your tools, masses of workshop manuals, badges, everything to do with motorcycles. Your um, plaques for the wall to tell what bike you've got. You name it, you can buy it here. Bags for a pound. These are all your bolts. You can get your stainless steel 516 wick, your metric bolt. Beautiful Yamaha stand here with all your race, you know, your old and your new bikes. Okay. Here we are, all the ammo carburetors. You can see quite a big show, masses of stuff on display. You know, too many stalls to get around in a day to be honest, you really need the two days. You can see here, incredible amount of uh, motorcycle and related parts as well. There's a massive auction they have here as well. So if you're interested in buying a very rare bike, you know, they have roughly periods, uh, Egley Vincents, this kind of thing. You got here amazing selection of bikes. These are all picked from the classic mechanic show. And uh, Z1R Turbo, very rare machine there, the red bike. I actually have the Z1R like the one behind in, in grey, the silver grey. And uh, behind us, as you can see, these particular bikes, you've got your fire blades, you've got your YB100s, you know, very classic old machines, which now are actually worth a lot of money. I wish we'd known you wouldn't need a pension, you just put your money into those buy a new bike every year, you'd be on a fortune. Carol and Ash, these sponsor the show. These are like one of the major insurance people. Okay, thank you. As you can see here, the Kawasaki's, these are legendary Z1s, the Z650s. These, to me, are some of the greatest bikes they ever built. The H2s, 752s, strokes, your racers. The old Suzuki 500 Invaders, this is like Barry Sheen turned into a racer when Barry Sheen started racing originally. And there's some kind of award seminar and me going on there as you can see. Central wheels, they do all your billet wheels, sorry, all your spoke wheels, multicolored spokes, you know, very, very great selection. Um, UK two strokes, very cool. Lots and lots of two stroke bikes, which I personally do love and always own. Some of these bikes over here. Some of these um, Suzuki 750 kettles, unbelievable. There's even one here. This is one of the wildest bikes I've seen for a 750 Suzuki. And as you can see here, this one here is actually a four cylinder. They've grafted another cylinder onto this bike. Um, originally this would be a 753 like this, but as you can see, they've actually put another cylinder on. Amazing feat of engineering. It looks stock. The great thing is it does look like a stock bike, like Alan Milliard does with his. This one here, one of the races, looks like one of the Heron Suzuki, perhaps, um, race bikes. But uh, GT750 Rocker. Introduced from France, yeah, this is a special race bike that they did. This is one of the original 74s, I believe. Sorry, 71, 72. This particular bike here is one of the original GT750 kettles. These bikes fetching crazy money because there were so many were smashed up in the old days. And then the legendary CBX1000. This is a six cylinder Honda, um, which again, this in its day, this was the bike to have if you could afford one and afford to run it. The six cylinder, six carburetor bike was Honda's flagship bike and really still is. But uh, if you just check this engine, I mean, that is a beautiful engine, super smooth. Not the best on fuel. I remember when we were in the forces in Germany, me and Kevin, he had the Z1R, he had the CBX. 
you'd be looking around about 15 to the gallon down to 10 if you were doing 150 on the things but uh, awesome power it used to stretch the chains wear the tires out in 600 miles this particular one is total custom amazing build this this machine here is absolutely incredible and uh, build quality wise i've got to admit there aren't many bikes that well made but the frame was actually for a completely different bike and they've shoehorned a uh, cbx thousand motor in and as you can see these is the owners club most of these stands will be owners clubs so again you've got the laverda club is the next stand beautiful bikes the old laverda jotas your three c's you know your 750s your sfs and again this is like this is the sort of bike that won the tt so i think the slater brothers did lapped at over 125 miles an hour with one of these and it did win the tt but uh the old jota had two up one down crankshaft whereas the later one the mirage like over you know, like like the the other bikes they had a 120 degree crankshaft which was a lot smoother and uh but the old jotas used to jump about but they certainly did the part you know they really did win all those races over here you got all your spares a lot of the guys starting to go early but this is the bike in the old days this is a kawasaki max 3 500 this thing they used to call it the uh the widow maker a lot of people got killed on these these like 1968 very original looking at these bikes absolute fortune to buy now but a very cool machine and in its day those things used to go around a bend and rip the wheel up when you weren't expecting it hence they were called the widow makers these bikes here as you can see more 500s and 750s in fact no i'm telling you on these are all kh kh and h1 500s exceptional bikes you see all the rosettes these have all won lots of prizes so um beautiful colors very small very powerful bike i've got an h1f myself which is like this one here um and as you can see there's, there's just masses of stuff to see here so if you fancy a really fantastic weekend um you know plus that the classic show at stafford is definitely a place to come where you can see me and walter next year 2000 20 we will be here and we'll also be at the NEC classic show in Birmingham that's a classic car and bike show um, which is later this this year in the 9th to the 11th of October so hopefully see you there November that's November. November November I do apologize yeah, okay. I've okay, had a bad November. day yeah, okay. sorry I do apologize November. yeah okay. okay thank you very much Mike no thank you thank for you Walter. this uh, great introduction here thank yeah. you thank you thanks i was very impressed about the show what is going on there it's amazing it's yeah amazing, amazing. amazing. Yeah. this is the first one we've done yeah. for a long time and i've got to admit compared to the old shows this really yeah. is exceptional fantastic yeah and hopefully okay. we'll see you okay okay thank, thank you. you mike thanks see you later see you later Is, um, will be flying Millyard, which is basically two radial aircraft cylinders off a, a radial aircraft engine. As you can see, it's an enormous machine, very, very powerful, I should imagine. But uh, all this was is obviously been hand built by him. 
and uh, incredible skill to build something like this from scratch to make your own crankcases bolt everything together and get it actually running is absolutely unbelievable certainly a monstrous machine very big bike Sorry, mate. this is what he calls his chitty chitty bang bang bike it's under five five liters jesus <laughs> with two cylinders from a Pratt & Whitney Wasp radial engine fitted to a Dakota, Dakota DC-3 aircraft. He's done 8,000 miles so far and uses it a lot throughout the year in all weathers. The Flying Mill Yard was awarded best in class at the most over-the-top motorcycle at the Salon Privé Concours d'Elegance London in 2013. Look at the size of the carburetors. You've got 2,500 cc's per cylinder. That is a serious bike. And uh, if you're interested in seeing any of this kind of stuff, real bucket carburettors I mean this is a serious power fight but hopefully one day we'll be able to send you a video of some of these bikes actually running but you know obviously we can't start them up in the halls yeah okay